My First Bible presents The Reunion of Jacob and Esau Jacob and his family continued on their journey. As Jacob started to get closer to his home, he started to feel more and more nervous because of Esau. He thought to himself, could Esau still be angry with me? Because of this, Jacob sent a message to his brother Esau, stating that he was in the land of Edom. The message said, My lord Esau, all this time I have been living in Laban's home, and now I have many flocks, many cows, donkeys, sheep, and servants. I'm sending you this message with the hope that you will receive me kindly. With love, your serf and brother, Jacob. After sending the message, the messenger returned and informed Jacob, I found your brother Esau, and he says he's on his way to meet you with an army of 400 men. <gasps> Would you attack him? Jacob was terrified by the news. He had the idea to separate his people into two groups. He also divided up the flocks and his possessions. That way, if Esau finds one of the groups, maybe the other group will be able to escape. Yeah. So Jacob prayed, O God of my grandfather Abraham and God of my father Isaac, O Lord, you told me, return to the land of my parents. You told me you would be with me. I am begging you to save me from the hands of my brother Esau. I am scared that he will come to attack me my wives and my children. But you promised me that you would treat me with kindness and that my descendants would multiply like the dust on the earth, impossible to count. Blah, 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 and so Jacob blah, stayed the night blah, in that same blah, place. Blah, 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 blah. Later, Jacob sent a message and many animals as gifts to Esau. He gave instructions to his messenger to tell Esau, your serf, Jacob, is following behind us. Okay. Jacob thought, I will attempt to calm him down by sending gifts before I see him in person. Hopefully then, he will receive me with kindness. On the night before meeting with Esau, Jacob sent his family and all his belongings to cross a river called the Javik, but he stayed behind. While Jacob was on foot and alone beneath the stars, worried and praying, a man huh? appeared out of the desert. Who are you? A thief? Whoever he was, the man was very strong and fought with Jacob. Throughout the entire night, the men fought. They had the same strength. Jacob realized that this was not a man, and he thought to himself, could he be an angel? Or could it be God himself in person? When the stranger saw that no one would win the fight, he hit Jacob in the hip and dislocated a bone. Jacob felt a great deal of pain. And the stranger said to him, let me go, for the sun will be rising soon. I will not let you leave unless you bless me, Jacob said. What is your name? asked the stranger. Jacob. No, you are no longer Jacob. Your new name is Israel, because you have fought with God and with men, and you have won. Please, tell me your name, Jacob said. Why do you want to know my name, responded the man. He then blessed Jacob right there, and he left. Jacob named the place Peniel, which means face of God because he said, I have seen God face to face, and yet I am still alive. He then limped away. The next day, Jacob looked up and saw Esau approaching with an army. Jacob quickly divided up his family, sending the children with their mothers. He then placed himself in front of them and went forward. As he approached his brother, Jacob bowed to the ground. 
then kept walking and bowed again. He did this seven times until he was very close to Esau. Finally, when they were close to each other, Esau ran towards him and hugged him as they both began to cry. My brother. Jacob felt a great sense of relief. Who are these people who have come with you? asked Esau. This is the family that God has given me. And what about all those flocks and herds you gave me? Esau asked again. They are a gift, my lord, to ensure your friendship, answered Jacob. My brother, I have more than enough, said Esau. Save all of that for yourself. No, please keep them, Jacob insisted. Accept the gifts from me to show that you have forgiven me. God has been very generous with me. I have more than I need. Due to Jacob's insisting, Esau finally accepted the gift. Very well, said Esau. Let's keep going. I will travel with you. Thank you, Esau. But we need to travel much slower than all of you, because we have many children and young animals. Okay, Esau responded. But let me send some men with you to protect you. That isn't necessary, responded Jacob. God will protect us, just as he has been protecting us the entire time. And so, Esau returned to the land of Edom. And Jacob and his family arrived to the city of Shechem, in the land of Canaan, Jacob's homeland. <laughs>